Hello, 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 pop. Hello, 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 babies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Red. And you're watching Siren Red Tarot. And today I'm coming back with a few, with a pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is one to be about what is the gossip about you. I was going to use these cards, my mystic, but for some reason, I have brought these for like referencing like little questions, but for some reason, they asking me to use my meditation deck. Can I get three cards? Can I'm just gonna You're gonna put the cards on top of the dice so that way you can choose the dice. You know what Give you a moment to meditate on it. Uh, sage. I'm so tired. And I got a same day to do after this. And after I'm done my same day reading, I can fucking get in the shower. I lay down. Hopefully by like one o'clock. Make this fucking real. I'm gonna make it real. Real. 
stream of smoke. Let's see what the gas I'm about to chew is. Pop my more. All right, y'all. I had to stop the camera because I ain't, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't got no clothes on. <laughs> like, no, well, at least not on top anyway. But it's, it's hot in here. And I have dropped the car behind the table. And, you know, you see my little titties. So, <laughs> so I had to stop the reading. But I'm going to see if I can make it all one reading because I know we hate doing like the two. But. Yeah, I love y'all, but like, y'all just cannot be seeing my titties now on YouTube. So, yeah, anyways, like I was saying, I gotta be mindful of where I'm at and what I'm doing. But, um, anyways, like I was saying, so basically, what I'm seeing here, power number what I'm seeing here, power number two, I mean, power number one is that you got a couple of haters here. Some of you guys may be. Um, did something like said you guys were going to do something and then it actually happened but at the time when you were telling everybody like hey I'm about to do this or I'm about to make this move like nobody was believing you but then when you actually made the move whether it been going to school whether it be having a baby whether it be actually um, committing to a healthy relationship whether it be actually committing more to yourself no matter what it was what it was exactly you basically committed to it and you said that you were going to do it and because it, because you said these things like because nobody either nobody where you're from did the things that you said you were going to do and did or people are not used to seeing people do things or they just thought that you couldn't do it because maybe you just never did nothing like that before and it's like how you gonna come out of nowhere and you're gonna do all this shit you know what i'm saying but i say all that's to say these people watched you take the steps they are gossiping about how somebody probably helped you take the steps to get to where you need to be and they're trying to figure out like who taught this person this? Who who helped this person do this? Who taught this person this? Like, how did you learn how to do that? What made you do that? Like, they're basically asking things of that nature. Like, they're not, they're confused on how you were able to get done what you got to get done. You get what I'm saying? Like, they think that somebody had to help you or they think that somebody had to help you or somebody had to do it for you and you had to pay them and do it. Like, they just don't believe that you took these steps by yourself. Now, other than people who may be, like, because you got a couple people talking about you. You got people talking about you who are, in fact, haters. And then you got people talking about talking to you who are not, in fact, they're not, they're not, I don't want to say they're haters, but I want to say that they're, um, I don't want to say they're haters, but I want to say that they're, um, they're, uh, what you say, they're, they're not haters, they're, like, they're haters, like, they're just, like, they thought they was better than you. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, these are the people who were like close to you. Like they just thought they were better than you. They see you take the steps and stuff like that. So they're gossiping about that. Like they're, they're saying like, okay, we thought this person was like lazy. We thought this person was a bum. We thought this person was never going to, you know, be nothing or, or do nothing extraordinary. And they fuck around. They did something extraordinary. Like, I wonder like where they're going to go with this. How long is this going to last? Like how much pressure, how much more pressure are they going to apply to their dreams and their wants? So they're, they're basically like people are gossiping about about like the steps that you took to get to where you needed to be then you have make an area so people were are gossiping because they expected you to give up they expected you not to follow through with it they expected you to give up they expected you to be like all right well this is too hard i have to do something else or like maybe everyone's right i can't do it but when you did it they're now realizing you're going to need space at the table so they're going to have to make space so people in your same people in your same um people in your same um People in your same either career field or business type or social circle or whatever, but these people do the same thing, like they do the same thing, if not similar to what you do, right? But they wasn't expecting you to make it to their level. They wasn't expecting you to actually um, maintain, um, obtain any type of relevancy in whatever, uh, whatever, um, in whatever you guys are doing. But now they're saying that's just not the case. Like, you are relevant, and you're going to stay relevant. So, basically, you're here to stay. And since you're here to stay, that means they have to make space. So, sometimes when people level up, I never understood this, but sometimes when people level up, they start to see people as competition. Like, for some reason, like, somebody could be a doctor in their family, right? I'm not trying to lose me. Somebody could be a doctor, right? And, um... 
You could be the only doctor in our family. And then let's say their little cousin want to be a doctor. Instead of being like, oh, some people will be like, oh, yeah, we could all be doctors. And some people will be like, no, I want to be the doctor of the family. I want to be the person who made it. I want to be the person that everybody thinks is the most successful, right? And they feel like now that this person is wanting to become a doctor too, everyone's going to start looking at them at the same so I'll become less relevant. So they're, they're, they're saying that you're basically going to be intruded on our territory. People are talking about that. People, but... You also have people who have your back. Like some people, like yeah, they feel like, oh yeah, she's this, she or he is, is intruding on my space. Here or she is about to start popping and shit like that. Here or she is about the fans about to be tired of them too. However, they want you to enjoy the moment. Cause, but honestly, even though these people want you to enjoy the mat, um, the moment, and they're happy that you actually got there, none of these people ain't shit. Because all the people who are gossiping about you, they didn't think that you were gonna make it. They didn't think that you was gonna follow through with it. And they didn't think that they didn't think that you were. And they don't. And they still don't think you can maintain it. They think this is like a five minutes worth of fame shit, and it's gonna be. Um, and then in the future, it's gonna be like you know, done. Hmm. Let's see. What your advice is. So yeah, they're gossiping about something you did. And they didn't they didn't expect you to go through it. They didn't basically they didn't expect you to make it. They didn't expect you to make it. It says the secret of our success is is that is that we never ever give up. I'm sorry for all the noise. It's Girl, my Philly. So <laughs> anyways. Yeah, the secret of success is that we never ever give up. So spirit is saying, go ahead and keep going forward. You don't need support. Sometimes, and then you then you hear yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose. So what I'm saying is this: who you were, your advice is who you were does not matter. Only, only thing that matters, only thing that bro, get the fuck out of here. take off you're going to be even more successful and you're this is not a, a five seconds worth of fame shit this is some shit that means, this this is a, this is a forever thing baby this is a forever thing so you have yesterday is not ours to recover but tomorrow is ours to win or lose what i mean by this what i say and i mean by this is do not worry about who you were. Do not worry about this. Because these people are thinking about who you were, not who you became. So who you are right now is not who you... Who you are right now is not who you was. So them thinking that that person couldn't do it, maybe that person couldn't do it, but this person can do it, okay? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Right now, I am doing same day readings for twenty five dollars until the end of July. So if you're, I mean, in the end of June. So if you're interested in that, that link is in the description box below. With that being said, we're going to move on to our next pile. So your first card, okay, is be optimistic. You have. Tornerus or tor Taonis, Taonis, I don't know what that means. And then you have transcendental, transcendental dinner, transcendental, 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 or some shit. So, what the gossip about you is, I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling like outcasts or feeling like um, something may not be going right in your life right now. Something may not be going right in your life right now, or you may be complaining a lot, or you may be like a little bit lost, and you may have told a few people this, or like you like me, and you might just put it on your uh your story a lot because you know what I'm emotional. Shit, everybody gonna know that I'm emotional, right? Hold on one second, guys. Like they, everybody in their mind for the know because fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to know. But what I'm saying with you is like 
you might feel that way but a lot of times i know i know, I know you guys have ever heard like sometimes people see stuff that we don't and we don't see it because we're going through it i think it's one of them situations like that like right now you might be like at a loss and everything looks like it's not like working out for you or things might be a little hard so you're like i don't know how i'm gonna maintain this shit. i don't know if i'm gonna keep be able to keep doing this shit, etc 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 but People around you want you to be optimistic. I feel like a lot of people who are gossiping about you are people who are in, either in the position that you're trying to get to or were at some point in a position that you're trying to get to. And sometimes, like especially with me and the stuff that I do, a lot of people in my field, they try to act like it's overnight, especially the ones that try to sell like what they, um, it's all about trying to sell, that do sell, basically how to do what they're doing. So if they do trucking, then they start doing like, they start doing like, uh, and I'm going somewhere, just I'm always going somewhere with my stories, right? They start selling courses, tell, teaching people about trucking, right? And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that because what they're saying is correct, but they tend to leave out the most important part. And the most important part of that is the fact that it's hard. The fact that it didn't take overnight. The fact that they were crying in their car. The fact that they didn't know if they were going. They didn't know if they were going to get the. Um, they didn't know if they were going to get the contract. The fact that trucks break down every day. The, the fact that their their employees are hard to deal with. The fact that you know they didn't have the numbers all together, so they got hit with some taxes. You know, because their paperwork wasn't right the first year. They don't post all that. All they post is, oh, I make all this money. I got all this money. I got this and I got that. Right. And that's cool and that's great. That's cool and that's great, but that's not the truth, right? But I said all this to say this because the people who are gossiping about you are going through what you went through, but they just never told you that they went through exactly what you're going through. So you feel you may feel like, okay, I cannot get out of this nursing school. I keep failing these classes, like this shit's taking forever. Maybe it's not for me. Mind you, somebody who is the head of nursing, either following on social media or somebody's mom or that you know is like looking at her like she don't even know. Like I failed 17 times before I finally passed and look at me, right? So, hmm. so they want you to be a little bit optimistic. They think that even if you, even if you feel like things are hard, even if you don't know if you're gonna make it, they feel like you definitely are gonna make it, and they wish that you would see that. They talk about they wish that you you should, you would see that. Some of them do think that you're a little bit overly emotional when it comes to what you're trying to do, and they understand it. But at the same time, they just, I guess, they're looking at it from a trans a trans point of being on the other side. Of being on the other side, like I don't know why you acting like that, but in the moment they don't realize they was acting like that at one point too. Does that make sense? These could be colleagues, mentors, people who are a little bit above you, teachers and stuff that are gossiping about you. A lot of them say that you have a really bright future. So let's see what the um, toe in this means. This type of meditation consists of three steps. Allow. Okay, I already know. Ten means to tune means to tune so these three steps help you to start tuning your body and mind step one the mind must concentrate on something step two the body must become deeply relaxed step three breathing must become slow uh thin soft and even so what okay so what i get from this is they want you to calm down and come up with a plan i feel like you might be one of people like me I think you want to people like me. Like, I know what I want to do, but I never really have an actual plan. <laughs> like, and that's why shit, I feel like shit be working out. And I say this, I talk about myself to help y'all. I say this because I feel like if I did have an actual plan, if you did, if we did have an actual plan, power number two, we would get where we wanted to go a lot faster. But it's like you just be doing stuff because you know what you want to do. But for some reason, you just feel like you don't got time to plan. I don't know in what what type of mental illnesses that is what type of mental illness that is bro but we both got that shit so what they're saying is they feel like whatever you're trying to do you're doing it a little bit sloppy so if you would like sit down and make an actual plan and relax relax your mind relax your body and actually sit down and focus you'll be able to hit your goals a lot sooner you'll be able to hit your goals a lot faster so they're gossiping about that like they're gossiping about like basically what i'm getting so far is basically how they have you have some of its potential which brings us in our next card trans trans sin sin Tendental or whatever. I, you know, if you, if you watch my channel, you know I don't really go by with the card. I, mean, I go by whatever comes out my fucking mouth that they told me to tell me, like from looking at the card. But basically, what I'm saying is they're gossiping about how you're going to transform. For
for me, I feel like these are these are not haters. This is a lot different than pile number one. This is people who have been in your life for a long time, who have, who have watched you for a long time or know you for a long time. And they thought, and they know, because like my thing is people know, some people can tell by the stuff that you do as a child throughout your teenage years or your young adult years, they can see a pattern that's going to lead to something before you can see it, especially if you're in it. So let's say you're really, really good at math, right? Let's say you're really, really good at math, right? You might be really good at math and you might not think nothing of it, but somebody else could see you and be like, that motherfucker right there is going to be, I don't know, a fucking accountant. They're going to be the best accountant ever. Cause you, it, but you don't know what accountant is because maybe you're not focused on that, right? And then later in life, you end up becoming something, an uh, accountant or something similar with numbers. But people are, but, and then, because that's why you hear, like, when you talk about, when they do bi bi um, biographies or what is it, what is it, bi autobiographies or whatever about people who have became famous or became like wealthy or whatever they did to get them some type of acknowledgement or you know you know whatever you know, you know what i'm saying or like just people you know older people always like, well when you was a kid you used to do this when you was a kid you used to do that so i knew that it was going to lead there you get what i'm saying so i say like i say i like to say this it's like they know they based on your actions and the way your, your mannerisms the way you move the way you do things they feel like they know where your life is headed and they know that you're going to transform but they feel like you're like they feel like you're overthinking of it and you're worrying too much you're worrying too much so your advice is if you want to succeed you should strike out on new paths rather than travel worn paths of accepting success so i feel like right now you might struggle with being a little bit different you might struggle with maybe you're you're either always been different or you're in the process of becoming different and you don't know if if you're doing the right thing, you don't know if you're on the right path. You don't know if you're if you're your head is the right. You just don't know if you're on the right path. So I want you to know you're definitely on the right path. But sometimes when you when you start to when you start when your life starts to level up and they want you to do new things, they want you to be new things. Your old life has to go, including new friends and th including including old friends and old family and stuff like that. Sometimes you have to walk the the road alone until you get to your destination and then everyone will meet you there. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's what spirit told me to tell you. But with that being said, that is your reading power number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a person read that information description box below if you're interested in my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a very heart in the comment section below and with that being said i'm going to move on to my pile number threes okay pile number three let's see what your cards are you have muscle relaxation you have love and you have look around so people are gossiping about you this is this is off the wall like i just i think it'd be so surprising to me when shit is like so different but basically what people is is um is gossiping about you i heard that meme where it's like your mom's a whore i can't remember where that's from it's like they go your mom's a whore or something like that but basically what i'm what i'm seeing from this is Basically, what I'm seeing from this um, is what I'm seeing from this is is that basically they think that you're trying to relax your mind, relax your thoughts about something, relax your emotions, and relax your feelings. Like, not not so much relax, but like relax. Like, I'm trying to figure out what what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? Like you're trying to, you might have been thinking about somebody a lot lately. You might have been thinking about a lot about you might have been thinking about somebody a lot lately, or somebody might have been thinking about you a lately. Well, no, you probably been thinking about them because it's like something to do with that. Like some of you guys might have either just got out of a relationship, either just got out of a relationship, or um, some type of toxic or friendship, or like a marriage or something like that. But something where you were it hurts you very much, and they feel like they don't like the way you're dealing with, it, or they don't like the way you think they think you're dealing with it because it's like. They're, they feel like you're trying to find something to relax your mind, relax your soul, and stuff like that. But they say, like, the thing that you are doing is, like, what you're trying to do it with love. So maybe you guys are, like, dating. Maybe you guys are, like, serial dating. Like, I'm talking, like, Lori Harvey type shit. Like, 
like you with a new guy like every couple months every week or whatever and that's okay or with a new girl every couple days or every day and that's okay because that's what dating is but people seem to forget that they seem to think oh as soon as you go out on a date with somebody or call your way for the girlfriend that's it like no like what the fuck like you not like it's not always gonna be the first person you meet but hey you know what i'm saying so but i still like to say this it's like these, I feel like these are somebody who's around you a lot, like your friends or like your family, somebody you bring in, your lovers, your lovers in contact to, because they're like, damn, this motherfucker just don't quit. Like, you got a, lo a new lover every fucking week. You got, like, that's not going to, that's not going to heal your heart. Now, some of you guys, I don't think y'all really hurt. I think more so y'all want to just have fun. And, like, people not used to you having fun because you probably either always been the type of person to be in a relationship or like you just was in a relationship for that relationship for so long people are not used to seeing you single and they didn't think you, you that you were going to embrace singlehood like really embrace it because some people think like oh like every time you break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend you just gotta go work on yourself and be alone and do all this hero work and yeah you should do that but at the same time if you want to turn up honey you could definitely turn you can do that too you can definitely turn up so i feel like you chose to turn up around it's like some of some people need in, intense healing and, and and need to be by themselves and some people like okay cool like i already knew myself i just i just couldn't let go of that person but then i let go of this person i want to have fun i want to explore but then they they just feel like you're taking that little bit too far they seem like you're a little bit too invested into into these relationships you're a little bit too invested into your love life and maybe you need to bring yourself back to like doing other things maybe you haven't been hanging out with your friends as much maybe you haven't been focused on your career as much but mind you, this is gossip this is not so people only know what the fuck you tell them so that's what they're that's what they're saying i think this is what your friends are saying about you your friends are saying and then with your last card being look around like your friends are are saying like you have the abundance you have the love that you want like i feel like your friends like some of your friends is raggedy as fuck like some of your friends might be the type of friends that are always single or like or like overly the overly independent and you can be overly independent if you're a man too because some people in this world is really like oh fuck man like you don't need men for shit all we got all we need is fucking brunch and fucking money as long as we got girls brunch and girls trips and we're getting money and we got our own we don't need men at the end of the day at the end of the day some of us want some dick some of us want some dick, some of us want to be held, some of us want to be touched, some of us want to be loved. At the end of the day, that's what some of us want, and your friends do not understand that. They feel like that you should be on a road of fuck everybody, fuck these men, fuck these women, it's all me but nothing. But you choose to be Lori Harvey, you choose to be having fun, you choose to be having uh, a food man, uh, a Uber man, a fucking trip man, a bill man, a sex man, like you guys said, you choose to have it, and they're like prejudging it. They're pre they're judging you for that. They're judging you for basically trying to find your happiness. Honestly, I say fuck them, cause you seem really happy. Like I'm getting, I don't get a bad energy from them. I don't get a bad energy from from them or from you. But like I feel like your friends are just a little bit judgmental. Like it's, but it seems like a happy energy. Like the energy I am, your energy is very happy. Then you have love yourself. It is important to stay positive because beauty comes from the inside out. You see, that's crazy. It says love yourself. So what I'm seeing here is like, if this is, listen, if this is what you want to do, if this is how you want to love yourself, if this is what, as long as it's not hurting you and you're doing it for the reasons that are for you, don't worry about it. Experiencing, don't worry about it. If this is how you want to love yourself, if you want to spoil yourself, if you want to overspend, if you want to sleep around, if you want to have fun, be safe, but make sure you're doing it because it's what you want to do. Not because you feel like you need it, not because you feel like you want to die without love, but because you know what? I want to have fun. I want to go on a date. I want to, you know, I want to get my dick. To, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to ride. God, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to have fun if it's for you. That's the difference, all right? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number three. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested, get a personal reading that information in the description box below. If you're interested, enter my free reading giveaway. All you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. Now, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye. Bye.